this is Janelle coming from not Costa Rica but Massachusetts I am back home and I wasn't able to make videos for the past couple days when with traveling and not having like any sleep um, so I'm doing the last couple ab about everything with traveling and the last few days in Costa Rica um, now Today's video is about day 36, and that started off with waking up, realizing it was the day I was leaving, uh, Rio Tripo Retreat Center, and that was really sad, and I didn't want to leave everybody. I couldn't believe that I was actually leaving, and I'm not going to see everyone's faces every day, and it was really just, it was, it sucked, <laughs> but, um... I, I couldn't have asked for a better experience. I got everything out of it that I wanted to and everything worked out how it should have and it was just amazing. So Dot had to actually help me pack because I, w I had no sleep that night before from getting sick. Um, it really was like I just, it took everything out of me. And um, we had Dr. Graham come and see me and just to make sure, you know, I was kind of nervous traveling right after that happening, but um, he said probably all out, whatever was making me not feel well. Um, so that was good. And so then I didn't I didn't eat breakfast because, I mean, I felt my stomach was still really not okay. <laughs> and, um, and then we took our group photo, we took a, um, everybody in a group photo and then we had just a fasters photo and I really hope I could see those um, and get those and then we I hugged everybody and said goodbyes and um, got on the little bus thingy to take the couple of us down to the hotel aeropuerto it's a five hour drive um, down the bumpy mountain and of course I was like oh god it's gonna be so bumpy and my stomach is like not good and I didn't get any sleep and it's just gonna bleh, it's gonna be bad um but uh and also I was so happy um little Lily um the cutest two-year-old at the event um she uh I was like oh she didn't understand that I was leaving I guess and or she was just being shy um but I got her to give me a little kiss on the cheek before we left and I was so happy because she was such a sweetheart um, just a light of joy every day at that event so we head down it's a bumpy ride and you start you just you realize the river sound is gone and that sound was so soothing every day and every night and it's it's I mean I'm in silence right now and it's not there <laughs> but uh so we traveled down, we actually saw a cow just like chilling in this little area in between busy roads and then just walk onto the road and it's like stop traffic and it was moseying on, it didn't even care, it was weird. Um, and so after we got, we took the drive, um, also there was music, like I hadn't, I've been listening to some music while I was out there. Um, but not a whole lot, um, and music was playing the whole way down, and I was like, man, I really missed music, because, I mean, I'm a dancer, and music is, like, everything, and I was, like, just, like, Gangnam Style came on, and I was like, yes! <laughs> but, um, uh, let's see, so then we got to the hotel, and we, you know, lo unloaded our bags and everything, and then we... We were so excited because we were going to see the fruit market and get to try all these epic fruits. Oh wait, I completely forgot. So we stopped um, during our travel back um, to have lunch and get a few little souvenirs. And for lunch, or during lunch, I got to try um, a star apple. It's this purple on the outside and white on the inside with some seeds and it had a really strange texture and it was cr like kind of creamy but and it was sweet and it was really good so that was something I'd never tried before so let me get to the hotel and um, we 
go to the fruit market and first thing I see is this uh, machine that it's making fresh sugar cane juice and I was like oh my god like I was so excited to just try all these things I've never tried before and you can't get here in uh, the States for sure so I tried the sugar cane juice and it was so it was super super sweet of course and it was um, let's see oh it's hard to remember like every flavor because we tried so many things. It was definitely super sweet and had a little like not tang I guess, but like some other flavor and it was just really awesome. Everybody like Netta told me that it's really good with lime or lemon in it um, but it was really good. Uh, all of a sudden Susan she's over by some little area and she's going like this to me and I was like and she was like it's Mame! I'm like oh my god! And So we tried I tried Mame Sapote for the first time, and it tasted like sweet potato pie slash um, cinnamon uh, sweet potatoes with maple syrup. It was so good, and yeah, that was pretty delicious. It's uh, brown skin, but then inside it's like a bright orange. It's really good. Um, what else did I had the most amazing pineapple I have ever had in my life. Uh, Pineapples out here are crap compared to what's out there. And the color differences you can see in the pineapple, like out here, there's like green all over it, but out there, they were pure, bright, orange yellow. They were beautiful color. And you sometimes, I know myself uh, with pineapple, if it's not, it's like I get a tongue burning sensation, mouth pain, um, if I have too much of it, but this, and if it's like too acidic, um, this pineapple was pure sugar sweet. It was so good.